live from the USA, helping you get paid every day. This is the boss of Bitcoin, the Cristo of crypto. It's your boy BK. And if you don't like me, you must not like money. Thank you for joining me, everybody. It is uh, Thursday, April 5th. And I think one of the uh, biggest opportunities we have is to welcome, you know, the billion dollar technology companies and corporations and institutions that are incorporating blockchain technology into their way of doing business. And uh, Tesla and Mr. Elon Musk has officially made the list. I have a video that I'm going to share with you guys, uh, a few minutes of a video. It's a, it's a long interview, um, about uh, an hour long, but before we jump into that, I do want to let you know that I did upload it uh, for free in full to my Patreon page, patreon.com at BK Crypto Trader. Uh, check it out. I think everybody who hears these words needs to uh, go over there and watch this video. It's pretty amazing, you know, the uh, um, considerations that Tesla is incorporating into their future um, in designing the car of the future. So without further ado, let's jump over into the video. You don't need necessarily entities like Tesloop and Avis in the middle or Uber in the long term. Now, in the short term, the DMV is not down with the blockchain owning a car <laughs> and the Public Utilities Commission, you know, doesn't certify, you know, tokenized right. things. They want companies with people who have you know, accountability. criminal liability and accountability, <laughs> um, you know, behind it. So uh, it's going to be a process to truly decentralize. But there are mm. some simple scenarios like you rent your car to somebody else uh, that on a Tesla could be set up today, completely decentralized with, um, you know, no intermediary party in the middle. Um, but you're still having a little bit of trust of, oh, is that data feed accurate? Nobody's manipulated mm -hmm. it. It's not yet. There's trust the, in the cryptography. Yeah, it's, it's not yet that those feeds are signed and encrypted like they would be if they were truly on a blockchain type scenario. Um, but I, I mean, I think you can uh, conceptually start doing almost everything like that. And then the... Uh, you know, you know, the details of certain components as they get more mature, uh, you know, assuming um, which we're relatively right. confident that blockchain will become more and more popular as a kind of uh, platform and organizational principle. Are you develop, uh, preparing for an ICO to put the Karma tokens in circulation? Are we close to that? Yes. Yeah, so um, we feel that um, all the people who are providing services like cars or cleaning or driving um, can be paid optionally in tokens. So we will run a tokenized system in parallel to a U.S. dollar system. Typically, your insurance company doesn't want tokens. And, you know, the <laughs> Lack leasing of vision. companies are not yet um, interested. Especially a token that in, was just issued Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, arguably, maybe it would be more profitable. But um, uh, yes. Yeah, so, so, I mean, there's a lot of unknowns around, you know, stabilization of currency value and... Um, even the mechanics, if you mess something up in your token economics, that whole token system's at risk. And so, you know, you need a lot of governance and such that let you modify policies as you learn more. And as so, you... so how do you roll this out and build that trust in the system? Yeah. That stability. Yeah. So we're doing a few things. Like the first thing we're doing is really um, putting uh, the vehicles on uh, the blockchain on a uh, blockchain uh, service called EOS, and that's a relatively uh, newer platform that's um, kind of in a test phase now. And we'll, block ones, uh, yeah, 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 block one. Um, so that will soon be released in production um, in summer, and and that is going to be for all the uh, vehicle uh, data feeds and such. Now the reality is the performance of that is nowhere near what you need for. You know, every car four times a second, 60 data points and sniffing and events and querying and figuring things out like blockchains are not like great for querying. I'm, I'm, that's an understatement. Um, but what it can serve as is kind of a verification. So if the insurance company doesn't believe 
that this data in the centralized database is true because conceptually we or somebody else who gives that to them could manipulate that. If the data was coming directly from signed cars onto the blockchain, it could still be going into a centralized database. Mm -hmm. And this could be used for the like operational stuff, but this is used to you know, guarantee the veracity of the whole system. To make the market, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so you have uh, kind of verification that this is all mm -hmm. working the way it should. But, um, you know, we think the blockchain will run in parallel to centralized systems for the next few years. Um, but you build the centralized system in a way that it's designed to be decentralized in the future. And, and I think there is a um, thesis amongst a lot of, you know, uh, blockchain advocates that if you really want a secure system, it should be open source, it should be cryptographically protected, everybody should be able to see what it is, because if you can't see what it is, how can you know it's safe? And not that you are sure it's safe if it's open, but it's a better chance, you know, the best people will find problems because it's, you know, um, not opaque. Uh, and, and then the other really interesting thing is beyond the transparency that the blockchain provides, what you want is uh, privacy protection. So, so there you go again. That's just a few minutes of uh, the interview um, with uh, the CEO of Testloop speaking on the blockchain and, and building out the car to future. So I do invite you to my Patreon group uh, to check that out. The full video is uploaded there, but you can see uh, there is a definite, definite, definite shift in the tide um, from, you know, bobbleheads on TV saying that Bitcoin was a fraud and, you know, the blockchain couldn't be trusted and it was the currency of criminals to one of the leading technological innovating companies in the world embracing this new technology it's really amazing shout out to tesla uh they do have their karma coin uh in development and uh you know it's a lot of big things coming in the future and real quick before we get out of here you know they don't call me the boss for nothing i wanted to uh jump on eos and run through this chart real quick break it down like a fraction and show you that you know it might be time uh, to put down two and pick up six real quick. This is the boss method, patented intellectual property owned exclusively for the rights and replications of Brandon Kelly LLC. Uh, seven twenty one, or I'm sorry, a seven, a seventy seven, and a two thirty one. If this is your first time joining us, just type into YouTube chart like a boss, and that will uh, walk you through my method step by step on how you can use it to make a lot of money in the markets. What's up everybody? If you made it to this part of the video, I got just a little bit of bad news. Uh, I will be uh, chopping the content a little bit short. Um, over the past six months, I've made close to 300 videos uh, specifically for YouTube. In that time, I've accumulated more than 25 thousand subscribers and I've also uh, generated more than a million minutes watched um, and I believe my content has been highly informative educational entertaining and enlightening and amazing right but unfortunately they've taken it upon themselves to suppress my reach they've given me a community strike uh, I guess I'm one of the purge victims uh, so therefore I will be taking my talents elsewhere right you can catch me over here and over here, uh, I will be uploading this video in its entirety to my page on Facebook, Boss of Bitcoin. I will be also uploading this video for free to the Patreon community as well at BK Crypto Trader. Uh, this is really unfortunate. I've reached out to YouTube and also to a few other people in the industry to see if we can uh, rectify the situation. And unfortunately, I haven't gotten any results. So I do apologize that you are affected by this manner. Uh, but I hope you uh, stick with me, you know, and uh, we can do another 300 videos and change the world and make a lot of money together. Uh, more than likely on uh, one of these other platforms. Uh, so stay tuned, stay supportive, and most importantly, stay cryptic, y'all. Peace. Boss. Huh. 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 Huh.
Huff, 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 huff,